We get questions from my neighbors all the time about why are you pulling this pipe behind your lawn mower? How do you make these stripes in your lawn? I just want to go over today a couple of the ways that you can make stripes in your lawn and how those stripes are made. So if you look at a piece of turf, there's no stripes in it right now. When you mow your grass, the grass blades are going to stand straight up. But as you go over them with a striper, you'll lay them down one direction, and then when you come back the other way, you'll lay them down opposite. And it kind of repeats as you go. And you kind of see the stripes there. It's not the best grass to do it in, but some of the ways that you can do it, starting with like the cheapest, these little rubber flaps underneath the mower. Most mowers come with them. They're meant to deflect rocks or whatever, but you can get thicker versions of this and bolt them onto the back. And they only work as a good striper. Another option, push broom. If you get an L bracket, put the L brackets on there. You can mount that to the back of your mower. Obviously this one doesn't fit my mower, I don't do this way, but it would mount up to the back nice and square and it would kind of brush the grass as you go and lay it down each way. Those two options are pretty cheap. Another option, my first option that I did was a pipe roller. This is a, I think it's a five inch pipe, maybe a six inch pipe, full of sand. It's capped on both ends. You can kind of see there's like a bolt sticking out. Before you put it together, you gotta put that bolt on the inside. And then you just drag this behind your mower. This is what I used for my push mower before. Now, I've upgraded to a riding mower, 54 inch deck, so I'm making another one. To make this one, this is the one that uses bolt rollers. There's a name brand out there, costs about $420 for what I want to use it for. I made this one, got all these pieces for less than $200. So we're looking at it, two 10 inch L brackets. These will connect under there and they'll support the striping kit that will have right behind it. Flat bar, no holes drilled in it yet, but quarter inch thick. Four more L brackets, these are six by six. If I didn't say it, these ones up here are 10 by 10. Those will bolt onto there. Those are gonna hold this bar, which is a stainless steel pipe. It has threaded ends, but that's not important. Um, I'm just gonna use like a cotter pin on the very end to hold everything together. Bunch of pieces of PVC that I cut. These kind of work as a spacer. A uh, bunch of washers. You're gonna want these between your wheels. The whole thing will go together. Oh, and the bolt rollers I forgot to mention. These are about $10 a piece. So these are most, the most costly part of this is gonna be the bolt rollers. That'll add up quick. I got, I think I have 11 of them here. Um, the way you're gonna build it is you're gonna have bolt roller, washer, PVC pipe, another washer, and then your other wheel will go onto it. You can kind of see when I do that, I can actually like, each wheel will spin independently and it won't really spin the other one because they're separated just enough. All right, I'm gonna go I'm gonna get this thing painted and drill some holes and then I'll assemble it and we'll see how it looks. All right, so here it is all assembled. Um, I got some John Deere green paint on there so it matches the color of the mower a little bit better. I went ahead and just put it on here just to see how it all fit. I'm pretty happy with the way it went without really measuring it. See, there's like a little bit of a space right there, a little bit of a space over here. You can kind of see how it all went together. I got five wheels in the center. Um, L bracket, L bracket. You see with the PVC spacers, I can spin each wheel individually and it doesn't spin the wheel next to it. There's really not a huge gap in between every wheel. So I got five wheels in the center, three on the outside, three on the outside. It's total in length, it's 36 inches. I think it looks like it fits the back of the mower pretty well. Um, in the description, I'll put a list of all the pieces I use and their prices. Well, like I said earlier, it ended up being like $190 total to build it, but
but it's versus $420 to buy it. I hope this video helps you with your build of your own striper. I will post a follow-up video later this season once I get the fall grass going. Uh, thanks for watching.